In this video, we're going to look at how you can customize the lap alert for running on the Phoenix 7 watch. So the lap alert is basically what shows up once you start an activity and you either press the bottom right lap button here or you have it set to go off automatically based on your settings. So at the moment, uh, I have it set to two fields, one showing the lap time, one showing the total time. But there's really a wealth of options here to customize this. So let's go ahead and look at how we can do that. So first off, let me just uh, discard this activity and then go into the main uh, watch face. So to get started, push, push the top right button here, go into run, and then you will press and hold the middle left button to get into run settings. So when you go there, you'll scroll down until you find auto lap. The first option is to keep it off or on. So if you keep it off, that means it will only uh, do the lap alert and the lap record when you press the lap button. So this might make sense if you're doing a race or run with more visual markers that you would like to record a lap on. But for this example, let's keep it to on. Next is the mode. So auto distance or auto position. Auto position means that the lap alert will go off at the same point where you previously pressed the lap button. So when you do this once, you do your first lap button, press, then for example, you do a circular run, you come back to the same point, that then the lap alert will go off again automatically. But let's keep it at auto distance for this uh, example. I think that's probably the most practical use case for most. And you can also set the distance you would like to go it to go off on my watch is in kilometers at the moment so this would be every 1k but you can do whatever is most useful for you here also with increments within there so we have it set to auto distance per 1k so let's look at the lap alert so you have two fields here one primary one secondary and if you go to preview you will see one is slightly bigger than the other and let's take a look at some of the fields you can choose from here. So Garmin has some few fields here that it suggests. But if you go down to more, you can see there are many more fields you can select from. So heart rate, stamina, cadence, elevation, and so on. So I'm gonna give you just a few examples to um, consider here, but really encourage you to explore and find something that works best for you. So we had a look at the lap time. Another one that could be useful is the average lap time. So say you're doing a 10K run, you have a target of uh, coming below 60 minutes. Uh, in that case, your average lap time needs to be below six minutes per kilometer. So say you have your primary field set to lap time for the last lap, and then your secondary field set to average lap time that could give you a quick glance on how you're doing in terms of reaching that target. So some other fields that can be useful, for example, heart rate fields. One can be the lap heart rate, which would give you a good gauge on your effort level, perhaps making sure you're not exceeding a certain threshold um, on that lap. And a variation of this is also to do the average heart rate. Now this field will give you for the total activity average heart rate. So a longer and broader view on your heart rate there. So going down, if you're using cadence, for example, your lap cadence could be useful to make sure you're reaching a certain uh, cadence level if you're using that in terms of running efficiency. But um, one more field I'd like to show you is if you go all the way down to the bottom here, you will see graphical. And Here's a selection of more gauges that can show up on your lap alert. So one of these is total ascent and descent. If we select that, go into preview, we now have um, on the lap alert, the primary field showing total accumulated ascent and descent during the, the activity. So that can be useful for trail running or races, mountainous terrain, and so on, just to give you a quick glance on your elevation metrics during your activity. Lastly, 
just go into more again and we scroll down we also have some other fields here that can be for example total calories if that's useful you have battery percentage and sunrise sunset time of day and so forth so really there's a bunch of options here that you can explore so lastly one thing to note is that the secondary field can also be turned off if you would like it just to contain one field so in this case we now have it showing only the ascent and descent field so hope you find this video useful and see you in the next one